Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle News update. By now you've heard, I posted on my Instagram last night, that David Paul, one of the Barbarian brothers, has passed. Um, from word I got from his brother Peter, he passed in his sleep. Although Peter would say that he, he really didn't pass anywhere because he's still with us. I believe that as well. He was a good friend of mine. I never forget I met him. I, I had heard of the Barbarian Brothers, of course, as most of us had back in the 80s and 90s. They were in movies, you know, they were stalwarts at Gold's Gym Venice. They, I think Joe Weider actually named them the Barbarian Brothers, or actually he went to come see them at the gym because he had heard about these two guys from Rhode Island who were training at Venice Gold's Gym, and they were just tearing up the place. And I think they got so nervous, the story goes, that when Joe, before Joe got there, they threw up on the floor or something like that while they were training, and they kind of threw a mat over it to cover it up. And when Joe walked in, they were just going crazy, like just throwing weights and screaming. And Joe came over them and said, um, what kind of training is this? You know, because Joe always had these training systems. And they said, it's barbarian training. And that, that, that became the name, the barbarians. Barbarians did barbarian training. And so I knew these guys, you know, I knew who they were. And I came into Gold's, I think it was one one day in the 90s. It was like, I was staying out there for two weeks and it was like maybe, it had to be like maybe 10 o'clock at night or something like that. Because Gold's was almost, it was always open. And I'm training in there and I see David Paul, one of the Barbarian brothers. And I had never met them before. And you know, I was a pretty big guy at that point. And David wasn't that big. I, I think he had had some legal issues or something like that. And he wasn't really training as much. And so he came up to me and started talking to me and I'm like, Hey, and he goes, uh, yeah, my name's David. And I said, I know who you are. <laughs> He's like, Oh yeah, you look good. And we, we started, and we just hit it off. Like something, sometimes you meet a person and, and you just click with them. They're just something that you guys get. You see the world from similar perspective. You understand each other. And, and David and I did, you know, really, I mean, it was, we could not talk for five years and then pick up the phone and we'd be, you know, like take off where we, you know, like we never stopped talking to each other. So he said, I want to shoot you. He was at this point, he was really wasn't, you know, doing a lot of, he wasn't that big and he was doing more photography. He was getting into the creative aspect of, of the sport. And I didn't even know he was that creative and that intelligent and stuff like that. And so I started talking to him and we went and did a photo shoot and we went to this train yard and it was closed. And he, he, we jumped the fence or something like that. And we went in there, we were taking pictures and someone came and yelled at us, like some like security guy, and, and we had to leave. And he got all mad, and he's like, "All right, just get in my car." And so we were driving around, and he just sees this car wash, and we stop, and he's like, "It's like the sun's coming down at this point," and he's like, "Let's just take pictures in here." I'm like, D -d -d "I don't know, you know." He's like, "Yeah, just take your clothes off. Don't worry about. It. I'll make it." And he made me this like almost like a barbarian outfit. Like he put this like he cut this bag and put it over me and. Uh, it was crazy, like a loincloth he made me, and, and I was posing in this in this uh, crazy, crazy, crazy car wash. It was pretty nutty as the sun came down, and he was just he was just a creative guy, you know. And that was, and I appreciated, that. I respected that. When I worked for Muscle Development, I brought him into the fray, and I said, "Hey, you know, um, you got to hire this guy. He's doing some amazing stuff." And um, and we did, and we did, we brought him in, and it was, you know. He shot the show for us, and he just did a lot of creative stuff. Look, if you look at this picture, I mean, I love this. You know, he was uh, he had moved back to Rhode Island, and he had someone had helped him buy this old church, and he converted it into a um, amazing, amazing old looking, you know, like antiqueish like building. It's just, and he lived in there basically. It was awesome. I remember seeing this interview with him at Gold. I think it was on American Medicine Magazine or something like that, where they were they were just like kind of interviewing newcomers to Gold's Venice, and uh, it was a another frequent know. visitor to Gold, David Paul of the Notorious Barbarian Brothers. The reason we first came to California was we wanted to be the best bodybuilders. See, I was from the East Coast, from Rhode Island. Rhode Island is the smallest state in the United States. In fact, it's so small that last year they had the entire state carpeted. Just kidding. Anyway, um, we came out here because the reason we came out here is we wanted to just get, get big and bre break the stereotypes of bodybuilders, that they're gay, narcissistic, that they look strong, but they're weak. But we tried, but they were all true, so we couldn't break the stereotype. No, so what happened was, <laughs> I said, what's going on? What can I do? I've been hopping around like a kangaroo. No, so what happened was, 
<laughs> These guys are laughing. I mean, this is serious stuff, bodybuilding. So that was David Paul, yeah, um, when he first came out. But he changed a lot, and he evolved as a person. And we had a lot of, you know, deep, you know, conversations. He did a lot of poetry. He wrote songs. He was, he was, he was just a, a creative genius, really. Uh, misunderstood. He did some awesome photography of the bodybuilders. I mean, he he shot some great stuff of Lee Priest and, and Jay Cutler. Pictures that even these guys were iconic. Flex Wheeler. He, he actually had the the conceptual idea to take a grand piano and bring it out to the middle of the desert with Flex and a bunch of women and have Flex, you know, playing the piano in the middle of the desert. And Flex went for it. I'm shocked. You know, he just, even Flex knew it was so creative. He's like, I, I got to do this thing, you know, and he, and he shot and the pictures were awesome. That was David Paul. You know, and I, I'm going to miss him because even though I know he's still up there looking over us and watching over us, talking to us, I, I, I miss his friendship, I do. And I, I really wish he had lived closer to me because I, I know I could have, I, I know I would have been friends with him. I would have seen him probably on a daily basis. Probably would have driven me crazy, but <laughs> but he was that kind of guy. We just got each other. And it's a sad day that we, uh, we lost him. You know, the movies that him and his brother did back in the day, The Barbarians and all the uh, twin sitters and DC Cab and Flamingo Kid. And I don't know if you guys have seen all these movies. They're older movies now from the 80s and 90s. But they were big Hollywood stars at one point. You know, they, they were going to go far. And then they uh, they were very difficult to work with. And I think they got blacklisted from the story they tell me, at least in Hollywood. But they didn't care. You know, they just went on and did the next thing, you know. And uh, I think David, this little poem that I, I saw on uh, YouTube that he kind of wrote, it was a song, really, kind of sums up his whole mindset and who he was and his viewpoint of the universe itself. This is called The Realization. Most of them don't rhyme, but this does it. I wrote it into a song too, but it goes, how does it feel when you get to the point in your life when nothing you do is wrong because you know you're being led by a greater light? The no's and the maybes thinking you're crazy, pushing you harder, you've never been lazy. You can't possibly meet me and know who I am when your head is buried so deep in the sand. And no matter what I say, you will never understand. I come from the place where there is no race, no color of skin, no religion or sin, no judges, nor jackals, nor thieves if you please, no mistakes in this walk, only lessons to be taught, and the less that you think is so good for your thought. So I walk down this path with my head in my hand, always knowing God has a greater plan, and it's not about what I want or what I think, and if I turn the wrong way, I shall sink but only for a moment in time, just enough to create a new rhyme so I can free myself and go on and realize that my fall was a stepping stone and that when I'm alone, I'm never alone and where I'm led is my real home. How much the universe sees, how many times do I lose my keys? I thank God I'm bended knee for he has bathed me in tears so I receive open ears. Roots that travel deep in the ground planting me and holding me down so I am fed and sound. Amazingly insightful, spiritual, musical words from David Paul. That really sums up his life. David, I'll miss you and I'll see you again someday. You will not be forgotten. You made your mark on the bodybuilding world, on Hollywood, and on the spiritual world in, in ways that no one could describe. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update. I'm down on my luck, but it's looking up. I'm hungry and thirsty with an empty cup. Life isn't easy, but I love to live. I ain't got much money, but I love to give. Now I'm not a minister, but I love to preach. Never liked school, but I love to teach. Not a great singer, but I love to sing. And I'll write a song about anything. And the years, they gon' buy me. 
And it's too late to go back again All my ghosts are behind me Creeping up now and then Playing this old guitar Makes me a happy man Playing this old guitar Makes me a happy man Now I'm not a doctor But I love to heal I'm not psychic with so much I feel Don't go to church But God's in my heart And I don't know much about art Now I'm not a poet But I love to write I'm a lover though sometimes I fight Love the ocean But rarely swim I'm not brave but I'll go out on a limb Years. They gone by me, and it's too late to go back again. All my ghosts are behind me, creeping up now and then.